Hello and good morning everyone. Alex here and today it's some more strengthening exercises. As always, make sure that you give our disclaimer a quick read before participating and ensure that you're in comfortable clothes. Uh, ideally, wherever you're gonna be doing these exercises, trainers would be ideal, um, but up to you if you wanna go bare feet, if that's just how you live your life. <laughs> um, and also I would really recommend to do a little cardio warm up as that's always better to be doing exercises when we're physically a lot warmer, okay? Just a quick heads up, one of the exercises in this video does use equipment, so ideally it's a weight if you've got it. If not, like me, you can just use ordinary tins, you know, you find in your kitchen cupboard, they're just as good. Also, I thought I'd just share with you guys this is the biggest tin we've got right now. <laughs> uh, as much as I would have loved to have used it, um, I don't think mum would have allowed me to, so. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you, biggest tin I've ever seen. Huh. Enough corned beef for the whole village. Before we get started with our exercises today, I just wanted to let everyone know that you, whenever doing a strength exercise, you really wanna go for quality over quantity. So much better and beneficial to do five really good, perfect reps of something versus 30 horrendous, bad technique um, reps of an exercise. Uh, you're only damaging your body and you're not getting the benefit that it's there for, okay? Uh, take your weights if you've got them, or like I'm doing, just use tins from your cupboard. I've decided to go for Branston baked beans today, so um, let me know what you've used. Good Housekeeping Institute says these are good. Anyway, uh, so hands by the side, uh, shoulders back. Really important that when we're doing any uh, upper body exercise, we don't want to have posture like this because that'll add unnecessary strain. You wanna think, slot your shoulders into your back pockets, chest nice and lifted, and in a really good posture. Okay, and then you'll start by just keeping your arms straight if you can, and just lift them, have a little moment of squeeze, and back down. And lift, and down. And really try and keep your shoulders lightly pressed into the back. You don't wanna be squeezing with too much tension. And you should feel the muscle just underneath your shoulders, about here, your lats, you should feel them start to activate and fire up a little bit. And then we can take the same, going out to the side and down. Out to the side and down. And again, not letting the shoulders lift to lift our arms. Really think arms down and out and lift and down. And this will really help strengthen our back so that when we come to doing our port de bras, we're not gonna be lifting our shoulders, we'll be actually activating and feeling the expansiveness in our backs, for me at least. Next, we're gonna be doing some tricep dips to work this bit on the outside of our arm. Really important for the guys to be doing this, for it'll help with our lifting to gain strength, but also for the girls as 2020 and uh, choreographers are asking even women to lift now, so it's always good for uh, anyone to get just that bit of extra strength. So find yourself either a chair or a countertop or just a wall even, something that is sturdy, that can take a bit of your weight and that uh, won't be rocking around. So you wanna, again, Shoulders in your back pockets, arms just behind you, and you take your legs out, and you're gonna bend and dip to try and get your elbows to a 90 degree angle. It's fine if they don't quite make it. And push back up. And if it's a little bit difficult for you at first, you don't have to go as far, and if you bend your legs, it makes it a little bit lighter so that you can actually press your heels into the floor and use your pelvis to help you up, just to make it a bit lighter. And then, once that becomes more comfortable, slowly take your legs out a little bit more. Really important as well, you wanna try and keep your shoulders down as much as you can, trying to avoid this when 
on my dipping, okay? It's an exercise for our core uh, called the hundred. So uh, yeah, let's just get to it. So find a space uh, where you can lay completely flat. So start off in the neutral position. And so take a deep breath, take a breath out and press your lower back into the floor. Have a little curl up, take the feet off and stretch the knees out. And we're going to pump with the arms and then take a breath in for five counts and then out for five counts. So one, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, okay? And then that will count as 10, if you think about it. In for five, out for five. And you count it up until you reach 100. Hence the name, 100. <laughs> so um, yeah, you just repeat that 10 times. And you wanna try and keep that breathing going because it'll help keep the core engaged, uh, pressing to the spine, which will then keep the spine pressing against the floor. Really important, you don't want to be doing any ab exercise with a gap, because then that becomes really dangerous on the spine. You wanna keep it pressed and supported and lifted. Okay. Another little thing that'll make this easier, again, because it's always best to start off small and then work your way up with any strength building. Uh, have your legs slightly bent or as much as you need to so that there's a bit more relaxation in the hips and that, that'll take uh, any strain off it than if you've got straight legs and your hips are hurting a little bit. And again, just really focusing on bringing the tummy to the spine as that's what it's really all about for this core exercise. And for our final exercise today, it's gonna to be a variation on the exercise plank. Um, on all the other strength videos that the other dancers have made, there's always been some form of a plank in there. So this is just an extra variant to add, should you so desire. <laughs> Spice up your life, I say. So this one will take place uh, on our elbows. So push out into your plank, making sure again, shoulders, back, back engaged, core scooped for sure, and engaging the legs and the glutes. And all you're gonna do, rocking through your feet, you're gonna take forwards and back. Forwards and back, and trying not to arch as you go. Keep everything nice and tight in the core. And back, okay? And I would say, Let's maybe do that for maybe 30 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, and then another 30 seconds, and so on. So, there you go. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions about any of the exercises or on anything that comes up in our videos, please don't hesitate to try and contact us and we'll get the right people to get back to you on any of those questions, okay? I'll see you soon on one of our next videos. Bye.